We are driving down the coast today to San Diego to visit the amazing Anne Landstrom. Oh, look, the Diva Den. What excites me the most about today is Anne shoots from her home. And you're about to see, you're about to see how somebody flips their house into a space that makes money. That is extraordinary. That is just a dream for so many people. You must be fabulous to enter. My name is Anne Lernström and I am a portrait photographer. I've been shooting Sue style portraits for a year. Oh, it's so good Welcome to see to you. Welcome to my home slash studio. I love this. I just yeah. said, look, you must be fabulous. And you are it. fabulous, so you can come in. <laughs> I discovered Sue from another photographer that told me that she specialized in women's portraiture and that she did fantastic work. Anne has been in my master group for the sales intensive. Uh, part of the sales intensive was to take people that were more of an intermediate level, meaning they just crossed that threshold of startup. They had their setup, their basic setup. They're actively printing marketing materials and, and really they are ready to sell and start selling their work. I was just doing digitals. I was just shoot and burn photographer. My average sale back then was probably around 700. I changed my price list after Sue's workshop and my sales now are 2,200 average. And this is beautiful. Oh, and you've got all this natural light? Yes, yes. So I do um, all my natural light portraits in here. This is going to be transformed With into this window, my... this uh -huh. window? Yeah. So you're flipping this lounge? So all this is going to... Everything is pretty movable and this big couch is on rollers. How do you move that? It's rollers. on rollers. Everything is on sliders. I can move, slide and move everything except this piece right okay, here. Okay, well you don't need to move that yeah. though. But, uh, yeah, so I, I move all this around and get my uh, big V-flats and backdrops and shoot right here. Oh my gosh, and the yeah. girls are doing makeup in here? Yeah, and um, this is... Uh, this is where the makeup Hi. is going. This is my model, Philly, Hi. today. Hi, and Philly. Hi. Hi, girls. Hi. Oh, you've got a reveal wall here. Yep. And this is uh, when the client comes back. Well, actually, now I have my pictures. Good girl. So Look we'll at that. So my pictures here. And uh, but this is where I do the reveal when they come back. I usually do a. Uh, and a motor first, so okay. they watch. On the screen? Yeah, so they watch that and then they come back here. Oh. So I kind of slide this table back and then I light all the candles. I put, you know, my boxes and price lists and all that stuff right here. And then, um, and you have a non-natural light room? Yes, I have a, a non-natural light studio. I did shoot boudoir for four years for a couple of different studios as an employee. And then I tried to make some extra income, uh, so I decided to do a home sort of thing in the garage. So this is... Uh, oh, <laughs> this is amazing. This is your garage? This is my garage slash uh, oh, studio space. look at this! So you have no natural light in here? None. Unless I open up the garage door, which is hidden behind you know, curtains and things there, but yeah, wow. this is... Uh, oh, oh, you're going to recognize this chair. It was yeah. Anne and Kitty that got me my chair, and she's got the matching I pair. I got the twin, yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Anne, and so you can do sexy shots on the yep. bed. And I put a background um, here with curtains, and then I bounce a strobe to the V-flats, so it kind of looks like a backlit window. Yeah, and you've so got a scrim. Oh, you've also got a Kino. You've yep. got a constant light. Yep, I just bought that end of last year. And uh, and I love that because sometimes it's really dark in the living room. And you've so. got a beauty dish. Uh-huh. Wardrobe. Yes. Oh, look so at this wall. This wall is amazing. So that uh, is uh, after that Vanity Fair uh, yeah. shoot. So I kind of Have you copied. ever, do you put the garage door up and shoot in natural light on that? No, I should though. I would love to see Anne change her garage space to be more utilitarian. So I would love to see her not be shooting in her lounge and create her garage space to be a little bit easier for her to work. Now when I've got more into portraiture, I don't, I'd like to shoot, if I do a boudoir, I do it in natural light more. So as much as that space is set up for a shooting boudoir, I like to transform it to a, more of a daylight studio out there because I'm kind of over the whole dark and moody stuff. Oh, your shoot. b flats are all there? Yeah, they're all behind here. You're so compact, like it's all just compact. 
How long have you been collecting all of this stuff? Because you've got uh, quite a lot of props. A couple of years. Yeah? Yeah. And it's mostly Goodwill or consignment stores or eBay. Except that I, I invested now in a in dresses. Yeah. yeah. And oh, I love these director chairs. So usually I use that for the makeup uh, artist. Uh, today she had her own chair, but yep. usually I put that in the kitchen so she can use the makeup um, from natural light in the kitchen. And sometimes I shoot with it too. That's amazing. I can't wait to see how you shoot. Let's flip this lounge. Okay. To get the space ready, I wheel the sofa off to the side. I move a coffee table, these chairs, roll up the rug, move the curtains so I can hang um, the light white chair ones to be able to control the light. And I use C-stands as my assistant to do the blow dryer. So I hook the blow dryer up to the C-stand so I can adjust that. I think a lot of people see me with a lot of assistance and they think I'm lucky. I can afford assistance now, but I went through years of being alone doing this. I have balanced a hairdryer between my toes whilst I'm in an ab crunch focusing with one hand, holding a fan, holding a reflector with my left hand. You make it work. And that's what Anne's tagline is. I made this work. That, that's it. Look at that! <laughs> that's hack, fantastic! My hack fan. I want to see this fan in action. Best thing ever, right? Yeah. yeah. So you often use it like this, this yep. double double, mm -hmm. and um, your light's beautiful. I mean, I have a little problems in the afternoon sometimes because the sun comes in, but then I have Ikea? these. Uh, some, yeah, something similar to that. Yeah, there is five, ten bucks or something. Yeah. Yeah, amazing. And uh, then I use, um, if it's really bright, I use my shower curtain. So this is oh, just. Oh, look at this! Like, this looks uh, like a script. <laughs> Where did you buy that? You can just order it online, Amazon. It's like uh, nearly anywhere. three stops, two stops, it's like, Yeah. It's, so, like, it's like your scram, right? Yeah. It's like my scram too. Yes. But this one is easy. You can just pack in your camera bag or whatever. If you go and have an outdoor shoot yeah. or whatever too, you can, I've hacked a maternity shoot outside with stuff like this. Beautiful. Very good. That's amazing. Just want to move forward into my sticky booty out. I know it's going to feel funny, but it looks good. <laughs> That one hand up there is the upper little more, bring your there you go. And then just a little connection with your chin. Struggling is this corner. Oh, um, yeah. Okay. You have a couple of choices. You come here and I'll go there. Okay, your couple of choices would be if you come to here, you can only bring her to the edge like that because now you've got this dark bit here. You can only bring her there if you bring that up and then up your ISO. Okay. But see how flat it is? Mm -hmm. So you won't get lots of contrast in the image, but if you take a step back, that's a girl. Now she's in complete darkness, mm -hmm. right? But if you bring that in, look at this, come to my left. That's the only option you have is to bring this into here. That's usually enough right there, but you really, this one here would be the best bit to come right around it. So the only gap would be you. Yeah. And your other option would be this. Um, the only way we can really is to bend into the light by bringing your V-flat like that. Does that work for you in terms of yeah, not getting that, looks, that big hard shadow? But then I, can, I don't, my struggle is to do the wall leaning. Okay, but we're going to fake the wall lean. Mirror me. Put your right foot forward. That's it. Turn your body this way towards Anne. Yep, hips and everything. And now touch here. That's it. Okay, now you watch me. You're gonna tip back until your shoulder touches the wall. That's it. So it's about getting that arm in there and we turn that around, that's it. So we get this diamond here. Okay, she touches her hip. Mm -hmm. Touch it, slide up, elbow back. 
and bring your head off the wall. Touch, slide up, elbow back. Okay, so you're technically faking a wall lean. Let's take this out, Stay the, uh, stand up straight. You watch this, I'm gonna flip out, okay, there. And I want you to use this wall here. You can get all sorts of positions here, but I actually think this is better than your white bed there. Don't you think? Yes. Yeah. But don't squeeze too much. That's it. You've got it. You've got it. Let me see what I'm getting. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Alright, you go okay. and get dressed and okay. we, we're going to talk marketing, sales and business. Okay. That was amazing. <laughs> Good girl. Having Sue here today and helping me was super cool. I have to tell my son, Nils, because he has a secret crush on Sue, so he's going to be stoked. <laughs> okay. And I want you to talk me through everything you've got but I'll just start by saying your home and your studio is beautiful. Thank you. Yeah. Um, I was most drawn to you right from the start because you're just a beautiful human being all around. But I know that you have a super amazing story, so I want to tell everybody okay. some of that story. Yeah. I feel like one day I was doing this show with the mentors and somebody wrote in the chat, these are all privileged women. And I remembered thinking, no, nobody knows what's in our bank account. Nobody knows how much support we get. Nobody knows if we even have emotional support, let alone financial support. Right. And I always would look people in the eye and say two things. And I knew that I was answering my own inner energy. I'm not a rich wife and I'm not a trust fund baby. And I guess what I was saying when I would say that is I did this by myself. Now, I didn't do it entirely by myself because friends always support you right. to some degree. Mm -hmm. But you did do this on your own and you did this because you had to, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, I was sink or swim. More yeah. Or less. Yes. But the cool thing was when I go back in your life, you actually went to photography school way before you were out on your own. So this was always going to be, well, this potentially was going to be your future. So when you were faced with having to go and get a job, you had no one to support you, it was just you and your son. Why did you choose to start a business and sink or swim in the business instead of just going and getting a job? Like you committed to it and you went, I'm gonna do it. That was really brave. Tell me about that. Uh, because I was working as a photographer for other studios Are and you making them money. How much were you making? Uh, I was making a cut, I mean a percentage, which was not much. Um, I made one studio in one year $175,000. Right, and so you knew that. Yeah. And so you were like, I'm just going to have to do this on my own. Yep. So you just went for it. Um, the dog's just leading me to my next question. You have a dog. I do. And you have a child. Yeah. And you work at home. Yeah. So let's talk about that because the reality is, is people have dogs and children and think they can't do this, but you're doing this. So tell me, tell me, what do you have to do once you get Nils to school? What do you have to do to um, get your house into a studio? Kick the dog outside, lock the door. 
Yeah, make and the kid the drop the kid off at school. Has a lot of dog hair that is all over the house. So I have not seen any dog hair. Well, that's in the because house. I cleaned it before you guys got here, <laughs> <laughs> which I do before clients come. So yeah, so it's just vacuuming, doing all that stuff, cleaning up after my son who leaves a mess in the bathroom and in his room. And I put her usually. I don't leave her outside. I leave her locked in my bedroom. Yeah. So she's not doing this, she's not out barking. Yeah, okay. what's the negative to working at home, having to clean it every day that you have a shoot? Yeah. What's the positive? Well, the positive is you don't have to go anywhere. I yeah. mean, you know. That's, rent? Yeah, rent, absolutely, yeah. I don't have to pay rent. Accessibility yeah. for when your child comes home. Yeah, I can work all around his schedule. Yeah, yeah. talk me through um, what you love the most about this genre. Like one friend told me once, if there's anything that you collect in, it's um, friends. Like I have a lot of women friends all over the world, even though we don't see each other. You know, in the years, I still, we still face, I have a great girlfriend in Australia and she's lived there 25 years and we still talk every other day. And sometimes I don't see her for five years. Yeah. And um, so I love connecting with women. Uh, I love the, you know, you share stories and, and some, sometimes you're more of a therapist than you're a photographer and sometimes I'm more in therapy than I'm a photographer. So it goes both ways. So I, I really love, I really love it. What do you love the most about being in business? Not to have a boss, I'm the boss. Now, I sat down to look at all of your material and the first thing I see is this. Image and pricing as follows. One digital file, $120. Five digital files, $450. 12 digital files, $900. And I said, and what the hell is this? And you said, my first price list. Right. But it's not your price list now. No. Because mm -mm. you met me and then you went like this. Yeah, exactly. Okay, yep. so this is Anne's price list. That's my new price list. Okay, yes. let's talk about that. You have a silver collection, a gold collection, and a platinum collection. They are $13.95, $19.95, and $2,995. Your average sale now is? $2,200. How, how long did it take to get up to there? Once I did the wall, it was done deal. Instant? Yes. Isn't it amazing? Yeah. So when I ask how long did it take you to get up to there, it happens overnight, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. But you have to decide to change the pricing. Yes. How long did it take you to change your pricing? Uh, it was a little scary at first. Uh, this is not my first price list after that. So yeah. it's been a few. Oh, there's probably been 12. <laughs> it's been a few in between. But this, yeah, now I feel like I'm, I'm okay. I, I, I'm okay with it. You're okay with it? I'm totally okay with it. And that's why it sells? Yes. Yeah. It's a beautiful price list and I love the way you've designed it. It's gorgeous. Uh, you've got a dream collection for 7,000, 6,995. Tell me about that. Well, um, it would be great if somebody buys it. I'd be happy to pack my bags and go on a dream shoot, but it's just to make these other ones look more affordable. Which they are. Yeah, so like I learned from you, people are always gonna go more in the middle Yes. So I'm do. trying now to bump my 2,200 average up to 3,000. Yeah, because right now you're selling just above your middle package mm -hmm. and we need to get your middle package to 2,4, mm -hmm. I'd say. Um, so more for more. Yeah. Yeah, more for more instead of less. So what less. I usually do here, since I always make an Animoto um, movie to every, all clients now. Yes. And they all love it. And they all and they want it usually. Always. Yes, and uh, so that's always a good um, to break if they're if they're in here and don't really know which one they're going with. I would say, well, I can throw in the movie if you buy the middle package. Yeah, and it it always works. It always works. Yes. Amazing. You are the best. Look at this. One hundred, two fifty, five hundred, and one thousand. Shauna's design. Mm -hmm. Amazing. This is beautiful. Thank you. Where do you get your card? Uh, this is from Miller's. You can print on both sides on that one. How often, how many do you buy at a time? Uh, um, I think about 50. Wow. Yeah. Where do you get your flash drives from? Uh, uh, Flashdrives.com, I think. Yep. Right yeah. And uh, how much do they retail at? The box, I think, was about $8. I bought them at WPPI last year. Yep. 
uh, from Rice Supply, and this is uh, you can they have um, deals all the time. You can get them for down to eight to ten bucks. Wow, beautiful! These cards are amazing. I love that you've got different images on the back, which is very smart. Where do you get these? Miller's, and I just reprinted uh, because they cost about a dollar a piece. And this is Miller's too. Yeah, and I just reprinted. Um, uh, let's see. These from Vista Print yep. for 50 cents a piece. Wow, so you're getting them cheaper. Yeah. What's this? That's uh, what I give to people. Oh, so, this is your pack? Yeah, so I have my little... Oh, pack. right. Oh, good. Oh, look at that, how your voucher comes out there. That was That's... a happy accident, actually. Really? That is a very happy accident because, you know, something I did was made sure all my envelopes and cards fitted together. And you've done brilliantly because look at that. That's like a, yeah, it it's was, meant to be. It was meant to be, but it was not meant to be. <laughs> but good girl. Well done. And then I have my little pouch for my purse where I can you know, keep good. my... Good. Business is gold. Yep. And your magazine. Let's talk about magazine. that which was a big elephant in the room for a long time, but... Is this Mag Cloud? Mm-hmm. Quality is beautiful. Yeah. Okay, love, love. Oh, I love that. <gasps> you put your... Oh, Anne, that is brilliant. Look at that. Your mum, your grandma, your great-grandma, your great-great-grandmother. Yes. This is just unbelievable. Yeah. Like, unbelievable. Since I was five, I've been fascinated with pictures. I used to sit and look at my mom and dad's photo albums for hours. And uh, then I would go in my mom's closet and use her clothes and, and uh, bras and stuff, dad socks in there and put, my, <laughs> to put her heels on and walk around. So I think I've been... Doing this, this for your whole yes. life. Yeah. That is just beautiful that you did that. It just shows that even back then, they got dressed up and went to the photographer. They and had did. picture. It was not, you know, an iPhone like today. Yeah. And um, so, yeah, I'm really happy that I have those pictures. I love it how you've done the reveal. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The dream shoot. God, that's beautiful. I love the bokeh. Where did you do this dream shoot? I was on vacation seeing my family in Sweden and I put a uh, model call on Facebook and one of my old high school friend's daughters said, I'd model for you and we shot it in the hotel I was staying at. How beautiful is that? And it cost me $25. Did you get in trouble at the yeah. hotel? I told them what I was doing and I said, is there any way I can shoot him? They're like, yeah, sure, no problem, whatever you want. Everywhere and I went in Europe, I could photograph. Yeah. And then here, I need a permit to walk on the yeah. beach with a camera with a stand. Yeah. And I'm like, really? And I said, you can have any pictures you want. And the, <laughs> all the stuff that I put on Instagram, I, I um, hashtag the hotel wow. on there. So they, Smart. Yeah. These are beautiful. Well, how do you feel when you look at this magazine? Uh, I, I feel a relief that I finally got it finished. It was a little bit of a, s a struggle for me because I am so, I'm a perfectionist. So it was not never good enough. So yeah. it took me a long time. So the biggest fault with the perfectionist is they never finish anything, they never finish anything because it's not perfect. Mm -hmm. And so ultimately nothing ever comes yeah. about. That was one of the first things I let go in business was yeah. the idea that I had to finish it, that I had to be yeah. perfect to finish everything. Right. Um, because done is better than perfect. Yes. Done is better than perfect. Yep. I think I learned that a long, long time ago. The cards, the fold out, the gift cards, the hard drive, the price list, the magazine and the box, done. That's your whole, that's everything. Okay, so all you have to do once you've got the space and all the materials is to get out there and make the connections, correct? Yes, I don't have problems connecting with clients. I've always been pretty personal that way. But Selling? Yeah, I mean selling when they're here, I don't have problems with either. It's just... Networking? Yes, that's my big... And that's yet, my last block, I think. And it's interesting that you would have a block around networking because you make friends really easily and you speak really well. And what do you think the block is? Um, I, I'm, I'm, you know, I, I've been, I've been really trying to think like, why, why am I not, you know, why is it so hard for me to go out there 
and because once I'm out there, I'm doing fine. So I'm, I'm, you know, I'm not sure what it is. I don't know. Does it scare you? I think it scares me, especially to go out to businesses that they, you know, I mean, I kind of feel like I'm, you know, vacuum salesman or something coming here. <laughs> here, can you buy my? Can I put you my stuff in, in your? Uh, I think that has. I don't know. I think that's, I feel like a vacuum salesman going out there selling myself a little bit. Yeah. If you could ask me any question, what would it be? Bumps on the seat. Help me get more bums on seats. How? How Do can you... help? No, no, no. Okay. I can help you get bums on seats, but you have to tell me how you want me to help you. Hmm. <laughs> that's a hard question. Okay. So ultimately, mm -hmm. All we ever focus on in business or in life is what we don't want. So if networking was on the table and I said I need you to go to some networking events and present or speak and you were like, um, absolutely not. Like I'm terrified of that. I could help you get past that block. Okay. But let's say it's actually not what you want to do. That's not how you want to market. There are other avenues we can explore. At first in business, I avoided everything I hated and then I realized that I was mostly afraid of it. Now, if you're afraid of it, I wanna get you past that fear of speaking or I wanna get you past that fear of owning your brand. But if you just don't wanna do it or you don't enjoy doing it, I would be more interested to build a campaign around what you do enjoy doing. Not many people are implementing videos in their marketing uh, shoots the way you are. Because I tell people all the time, do it now, do it yeah. now, do it now, and still only 30% of people do it. Yeah. And the fact that you're doing it for every shoot tells me that you make videos easily. Yes, now I do. Yeah. yeah. I photographed my um, um, OB, um, she's um, in her 50s, and she specializes in women over 40. Wow. And so I started you know, building to do a campaign with her and I asked her questions about, you know, how women feel after childbirth, after yeah, divorce, after menopause, after all. So I have a whole interview that I filmed with her and then I did her shoot and then um, but the second part of it, I'm going to have her come back for a reveal and then ask her all the questions how she felt as a doctor. Um, about having this done to herself and, and so I'm working that's a project that I'm working yes. on right now that's gonna be amazing it's yeah. like a mini movie yeah and then I've done some uh, one um, with ballerinas that went to a ballerina studio and, and that's another project I'm working on yeah. to put together a movie and then I photographed a friend of mine uh, for her 50th birthday with her 15 year old daughter and they were both the my girlfriend was going through menopause gained 20 kilos, that's just not feeling good about herself. 50 and, pounds. Yeah, and her daughter, 15, gone through hormonal stages and... Um, evil, pure evil. We've yeah. all been there. And, and, more, <laughs> and, more, and yeah, and uh, depression and even had, you know, suicide thoughts and yeah. stuff like that. And I said... Horrible well, teenage stuff. Yeah. So I said, I want to give that for your 50th birthday. So I had them come here. Um, and what I did, I was covered all the mirrors and I had their hair and makeup done. And then when they came, I had them write down on a piece of paper um, everything they don't like about themselves. I said, don't look at each other's, it's just for you. Just write down everything that you don't like about yourself. And then um, I had, um, the girl got f done first and uh, we went and covered the mirror here in the, hall in the hallway and the mom came and um, she looked at herself and I filmed all this too. And she was like, oh my God, you know, when she saw herself, I mean, the mother was crying, I was crying, <laughs> <laughs> everything. And then we did the same thing with the mom. And then when I photographed them together, I said, bring your piece of papers and uh, I said, read what you wrote on there. And now just, you know, rip it up in a thousand pieces and just throw it out because today is a day to start over. And um, you don't, you know, that's all history now and you're both beautiful and we're creating some beautiful you know, pictures for you guys. So I filmed all that too, so I'm still in the process of doing all this. So oh, I think a video campaign is gonna be very exciting for you. Yeah, no, I love doing it. I love creating, I love creating stories. Well, then we need to create yeah. stories and yeah. I'm wondering if we just create a campaign that's based around marketing and maybe you can try doing some Facebook marketing with those videos and see how quickly we can 
um, get that out there and see if that works for you getting bums on seats. Have you done any Facebook advertising? Um, no, just learning about. I mean, I think I did more of the boost. Yeah. I don't. I don't. Not quite understanding campaign. what the difference is for yes. the boost and the campaign. Campaign or yeah. the. Uh, yeah. So when you create a campaign, um, you want to target specifically one thing, mm -hmm. and um, I feel like if video marketing ends up being your thing, mm -hmm. that we might want to focus a little bit on that. Yeah. You know what? As your mentor. You're only giving me more juice to create something that's going to work for you. Okay. That's what I want to do because word of mouth is good, mm -hmm. but you need a bigger audience. Yeah. And we've got to keep finding bigger audiences to get in front of. Yeah. Uh, a long time ago, I all the marketing I read, a long time ago, I'm talking 2003, said that you're going to get 10% of your market. And I remember thinking, if I want four shoots a month, I need to be in front of 40 people a month. Mm -hmm. And Facebook is the first place you do that. So obviously that's kind of really extraordinary. Yeah. I feel like one of your most powerful strengths, like Kitty, mm -hmm. is that you're older, mm -hmm. that you're an independent woman. You're also both very beautiful women and I feel like your demographic is your, your own demographic. Yeah. Um, family first and independent women and 50 is fabulous. I just watched a woman roll up the carpet in her lounge, move a couch, and make a photography studio that earns you $2,200 a day. Like for the, everybody watching you right now, mm -hmm. I just watched you flip a house into an income. Right. You have any concept of how incredible that is? Like, I wanna cry. <laughs> so to me, I feel like I could design a campaign around you and Kitty being over 50, mm -hmm. over 60. I want you to empower any human being after 50 that is considering going into business. What would you say? Uh, that if, if you put your mind and the will into it, it's all possible. You just have to push forward and if there's a will, there's a way. There's always, there's, there's always a way. Do you feel braver in your 50s or less brave? I feel braver now, yeah, absolutely. Why I feel, Yeah, I feel more comfortable in my own skin. I don't really, I think after 50, you kind of have a right to just say, I don't care what you think, you know? I mean, it's, it's, um, it's like I don't care. Before I used to care what people think, I don't really care anymore. What do you want to achieve in the next year in business? Uh, well, I want to have two clients a week at $3,000 sales average. And hopefully by the end of this year, I will have a studio space. Uh, outside of home? Outside of home, yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, this is, this works, but I'm, I'm sort of in the suburbs, so I would like to get more, um, you know, central, um, centralized in the, in the city, in San Diego, where I'm at. Mm -hmm. And also my goal is to become the best portrait photographer in San Diego. I want everybody to come to me. Excellent. Yeah, that's my goal. So you can only shoot 100 clients a year, um, maybe 150 if you were to push three shoots a week. Uh, there's a lot of people in San Diego. Yeah. Uh, this is highly achievable. Yes. And I'm also going after the Orange County market because I'm in between, sort of. Look out, Orange County. <laughs> Look out. <laughs> You're amazing. Thank mm. you. I'm very proud of you. Yeah. I mean, uh, it's amazing sitting here with you because, you know, four years ago I was like put to you on my vision board and said one day I will be shooting or, you know, do something with Sue Bryce and that's when I ended up in your workshop um, a little over a year ago and it's just been up ever since. So, yeah, I'm grateful and I can't believe, you know. It's been so much happening the last year uh, with everything and for her to actually be here, it's just been s sort of surreal. You think about something and you focus on something long enough, it will happen one way or another and Sue has been in my house today, so it works. When I think about this brand or this business model all around the world, empowering lives, and I don't just mean clients, I mean business owners and photographers, Nothing could make me prouder than seeing what I saw today. Well, we're finished. Yes. How do you feel? It's been a very great day. You yes. worked hard today. I did. So did you. <laughs> it was easy for me. Yeah, well, it, I had um, I had a best time. It was so much fun. Awesome. I'm so thank glad you. you came. And thank you for hosting us.
Yeah, it's been a pleasure. Anytime. You're I, welcome anytime. You know, I'm super proud that everyone gets to see that your story. Yeah, I hope, hopefully a lot of people can relate and see it's, it's, it's possible as long as you work hard and there's a will and there's, you can do it. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Sue.